uh, we made it out to the jetties and I'm going to be fishing with mussels. Just bought these yesterday. Got them at a uh, store. They're literally less than seven bucks for two pounds of mussels. We'll see how they work. Hello everyone, my name is John and welcome back to Faith in Fishing. I was asked by a viewer what I thought about fishing with mussels. I had just started testing them the week before that question was asked. So the weather has been horrible over the last several weeks with winds at 25 knots, weather at 46 degrees, but in, despite all of that, I still went out to test these out. The conditions were not the best, but I still managed to get out there. So today's video is a mix of two different trips that I had taken out. I had gone more times, but literally did not record because it had just been so bad. So between these two trips, I went fishing for sheep's head with strictly just mussels for bait. So stay tuned to find out how well they did. First mussel. Going on the hook. Give that a shot. I'm seeing right off the bat with these is that they're really soft so they're not gonna hold up very long to any strikes oh. so, where you just, can I just dump them in your bucket yeah you can just dump them right there yeah I appreciate that yeah. there we go first fish real nice one yeah that's a nice one yeah. That's about 17 inches, eh? That's probably, probably right around there. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. All right, the muscles do work. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to start with a free line and see if that stays down. And we'll go from there. There we go, fish on. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. First cast. And we got a sheeper. Look at that. These muscles are working. I'm telling you. All right. Let's see what we got here. Man, and he. He just swallowed that thing. Look at that, man. It's a nice fish, though. We were wishing you good luck. Well, thank you. It didn't take you long. No, one cast. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of fish is that? That's a sheep's head. Oh, sheep's head. Oh. Yeah. More because of their teeth. I've heard that yeah. if you take these and put them on a stringer and throw them in there, that more sheep's head will come around them. Really? Yeah. I've they they never... get curious and they come around yeah. the, the other one who can't get off the stringer. Interesting. Yeah, I never heard that before. All right, guys. They say I got one drop, one fish. So the rumor is that there's a superstition that if you catch a fish on your first drop, that is bad luck. Let's see if we can debunk that today. Here's our second line in the water. See what we get. So I'm using a seven foot medium heavy action um, spinning rod. It's a Calico Jack Hurricane. And I've got 15 pound Power Pro braid on it with a 20 pound uh, monofilament leader. I'm fishing a one-aught 
octopus hook by Gamagatsu. Uh, used it before, told, mentioned it in other videos as well. And uh, just a split shot at the end for a little bit of weight right now. The reel is a Shimano Sonora, it's a 4000. Pretty much can handle any, any fish that is going to come out of here um, with ease. But I'm not here for a good battle, I'm here to catch some fish and to test out these muscles, see how they work and how the fish respond to them. So we fell prey to the old catch a sheep's head when the GoPro battery dies. So we were able to get one, but at the cost of not being able to see it caught. Anyways, I figured out a different method that seems to be working. So what I'm doing is I've got the football jig on or the swing jig and I'm throwing it out further and letting it drift back in towards me. It seems they're there on the outskirts. They're just on the outskirts of all these rocks, so let's see if we can do that trick again, but this time while smiling for the camera. Oh yeah, buddy, fish on, fish on. These fish are really dark over here. ourselves another keeper all right this is good bite turned on feeling better thought I was gonna get that one and done so no curse no curse check that out awesome beautiful fish all right a nice fish there Alright guys, number four. Number four is about 13 and a half inch fish. So we are we are getting places now ever since one o'clock. So what do I think about using muscles as bait? I gotta say I'm a believer. Am I going to trade those muscles for fiddlers? I don't think so, but they're a much better alternative to going out and buying shrimp any day of the week. One bag of these mussels yields about 70 baits. That's almost six dozen. If you go out and pay for six dozen shrimp, literally it's about one third cost for these mussels on the low end. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos while you're there. Aside from that, tight lines and be blessed.